This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I get IMM brushes to preserve UVs and polypaint? So this is a two-part question here, so we'll cover the UV one first and then the polypaint one. So to start off, I just have a piece of bark here, and this was created through scan data. It is a decimated model, and it contains UV mapping and also a texture map. So I want to take this model, I want to turn it into an insert mesh brush, then I want to apply it to another model, but I want to make sure it retains the UV coordinates it has on it. So how can I go by doing that inside a ZBrush? So to start off, I just need to turn this into an insert mesh brush. So I'm gonna make sure I have it positioned on my canvas here, how I want it to draw out. I'm gonna then navigate to the brush palette up here, and I'm just gonna click Create Insert Mesh. Now when you click that button, you're gonna get a little dialog like so. I'm just gonna hit New. And now I've created a new insert mesh brush that has this model stored in it. So now that I have the insert mesh brush created, now let's select a model here for me to apply this to. So I'm coming to the tool palette here. I'm going to select the plain 3D object, and I'm just going to make it into a poly mesh 3D. So to preserve the UVs that are stored in an insert mesh when you drag it out onto a new mesh, you just need to make sure that your new mesh also has UV. So this plain 3D object here, you can see, already has a set of UVs on it. So if I come down and say select a texture map like the ZBrush logo here, and now I take this insert mesh and draw it out, you're gonna notice that the insert mesh is drawing out and it's retaining the UVs it originally had. So you can see the ZBrush logo has been applied to the insert mesh as I drag it out. So let's go back to the BART quick here and I'm just gonna clone the existing texture map so I now have it in the texture palette. Now if I go back to that plain 3D object and now switch this to the BART, You'll see that all the bark pieces here, as I draw them out again, have the correct UV coordinates on it, and they're now having this texture map applied correctly to it. So just make sure that your model has UV coordinates and a texture map applied before you turn it into an insert mesh. And then when you apply the insert mesh to the model, make sure the model you're applying it to has UVs, and then those coordinates will stay or be preserved on your new model there. So now on to polypaint. So I have a, another piece of scan data here. So this is a mushroom. Now this model is a DynaMeshed model. You'll notice it has no UVs or texture map applied, but it does have polypaint. So I wanna create an insert mesh brush out of this and I wanna preserve the polypaint and then use this model on another model and have it draw out with the polypaint. So how can I go by doing that? So let's first create an insert mesh brush out of this. So I'm gonna position this like so, go back to my brush palette and do create insert mesh, and then I'm gonna hit new. And now I have a new insert mesh brush created that contains this mushroom here. And now I'm gonna go back to that plain 3D object to make a poly mesh 3D out of it. And now I want to apply this mushroom here to this plane. Well, by default, if I just drag this out here, you're gonna see the mushroom's gonna just come out like so. So it's gonna come out with this white color on my plane here. Now you may think, okay, so for the UV process, I had to have UVs on the model. So let's say I turn poly painting on the plane 3D here and now try drawing that out, but it's still coming in white. So when you create an insert mesh brush, you'll notice at the top here that RGB is going to be turned on and the intensity is gonna be set to 100. So what this is doing, when you draw this model out, it's going to be applying an RGB value and an RGB intensity based on the color you have selected over here. So if I set this to blue and draw it out, I'm gonna start getting blue mushrooms. If I set this to red and draw it out, I'm gonna start getting red mushrooms. Well, I want the poly paint that was stored on the IMM brush, not a specific color. So if you just come over here and disable RGB and now draw this out, you're gonna get your model with the poly paint that was on the original mesh. So you just wanna make sure that you disable RGB on your insert mesh before you draw it out, and then it's going to retain or preserve the original poly paint information, and it's going to now apply it like so. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.